<laughs> okay, I'm going to read something. I haven't been out in a while, but if you've ever seen me out, you've probably heard this before. Well, but your shoes are amazing. Well, oh, yeah. You. I'm in tights. Mm, rock it. Uh, this one's about a little bit of gender feels. Uh, it's called <laughs> Shave. It starts when I paint my nails. I'm depressed again. I knew it would come back like some sort of self-fulfilling prophecy that they tell me to stop making, but I just can't help. I cry, I sleep, I bemoan my loneliness and how much I hate myself. A faraway friend who still loves the shit out of me buys me a pizza so I won't go hungry, so I eat more of that, savoring how it's simultaneously nourishing and killing me. You know what they say on TV about carbs. I put on a Sleater Kenny Pandora station, then I paint my nails. Black, matte top coat. Yeah. I want to shave, I want to be new. I procure a new razor. It's my last one and it's one of those cheap drugstore generic ones that aren't gentle at all. I turn on the water, I strip, I shampoo my hair and put in my three minute miracle conditioner. I haven't shaved in months. My pits are lush and soft with their fur and I've grown to like it, but it's gotta go. My muff is longer than it's been in a decade, similarly luxurious, <laughs> but my trichotillomania hasn't spared it at all. I attack my pussy first with a fury, using quick, short, back and forth strokes that I've learned from many a tattoo artist as one of the most efficient and least damaging methods for removing massive amounts of body hair. I pull back my folds and fat, no inches spared, I shave my ass. The hair is coming off the razor in huge, hamster-like clumps. <laughs> I raise my arms, pulling the blade sharply across my pits. Clean, clean, clean. More hamsters in the drain. <laughs> my hairy, PCOS evident arms catch my eye. No, I won't have it. More quick rush strokes. Somehow I catch a piece of my elbow in the blade and it rips back. The burning pain is instant and I hiss as I watch the blood trickle over a hamster that has yet to make his way to the drain. <laughs> There's a flap of skin attached and I pick out furiously. It'll just be more painful later if I don't. I soap up my legs and at this point I notice that they're shaking. Somehow this is taking a lot out of me. I almost say that as if it's surprised. I'm surprised. The blade is not very cooperative at this point, and I have to make multiple rough passes on my skin. It turns red, flushed with the abrasion. I hit every inch. Scabs from my trichotillomania obsession are shaken loose by the razor, and inch-long scars from more troubling days make themselves more prominent, holding white against the blush of my thigh. I see at this point the huge pu that a huge puddle has formed outside of just outside of my shower. I contemplate if my downstairs neighbor is getting my leftover shower water in their bed. I decide that, aside from my fort the fortune my landlord might bill me, I don't really care. Shaking, tired, my elbow burning, I decide to rinse out my three-minute miracle that has surely performed 30 feats of God by now. I notice that my fresh polish is already chipping. <laughs> I towel off, touch up some spare ha hairs with my now dulled and clotted razor, bemoan the furry little hamsters in the drain, and instinctively go for the mirror. Despite an open window and a steadily working fan, it's clouded by the evaporation of my efforts. It's for the better. It all seems logical, poetic, and mandatory in my brain somehow. I'm depressed. Remove what makes me human, make me clean like a mannequin. Smooth and angelic. I mean, it hurts to be a woman anyway. Mm -hmm.